Hello Indie Game Fan, I have so many exciting upcoming games in this video, beginning with Kata Marina, a cartography-focused exploration simulation game with a fantastic art style inspired by its real-world equivalent, thought to be the first map of the Nordic countries, and most interestingly, this game is being made by a Japanese developer and is currently on Kickstarter. A very slick looking action game is Sword Chip, getting a showcase at Gamescom, where it is a lane based dodging title where you're maneuvering in the titular vehicle. It looks awesome with somewhat of a twist since you cannot directly attack, and if the music from this trailer is anything to go by, might be a real banger. We did also get the announcements of Cutterrupters, a roguelike deck builder where you play as a dragon, coming to us from the developer of Fuzz Force Spook Squad. Where you can certainly see the visual resemblance between the two games, where I hope this turns out well. I'm also tying up some loose ends of Gamescom, where we did get the 1.0 release confirmation for Second Extinction, a co-op first-person shooter which is basically Left 4 Dead but with mutant dinosaurs. Early access has been good for this game, with the 1.0 release coming about 2 years after launch, so if you love shooting at stuff with friends, this is a title of interest. Perfect Tides from earlier this year is a wonderful little point-and-click adventure game where the developer just successfully raised funding for its sequel, Station to Station. It is a slice-of-life story about a young woman's journey to adulthood set in 2003 when she was 18, certainly being for fans of the genre. If you love survival horror titles, Hollow Body will be of interest, an awesome looking game with, most interestingly, a tech noir setting, so there are futuristic elements, but unfortunately, that will not save you from the horrors that this genre is known for. It looks very creepy and atmospheric, and dare I say, Silent Hill-like, with it already being fully funded on Kickstarter, but do check out the rewards and stretch goals.
This next Kickstarter campaign is one of the more interesting concepts that I've seen in a little while, since Armed Fantasia and Penny Blood is a single Kickstarter campaign for two JRPGs, but strangely enough, you can choose to pledge to one or the other for their respective stretch goals, but as of recording, both games are already fully funded and has been a massive success. The first title, Armed Fantasia, comes to us from the developer of Bold Arms and has a similar vibe with the western punk setting. Penny Blood, on the other hand, is a much darker game with some horror elements, being quite an interesting contrast between the two, which makes this super interesting to me. We also have the Kickstarter campaign for Rebel Transmute, formerly known as Transmute, where this is a pixel art metroidvania that is certainly more metroid than Castlevania, almost to the extent of being a little too close in inspiration. However, since we last took a look, the visuals of this game have changed and I think that there is space for a title like this, so again, check out the campaign and support if interested. Another successful Kickstarter campaign is that of World of Enterra, an open-world pixel art party-based RPG with turn-based combat where you're essentially free to explore and adventure in the world as you please. It looks very ambitious with plenty of systems, having quite a classic high fantasy setting with great visuals as well with modern tweaks. Three, two, one, bring it on! Hey, 
You haven't forgotten about me, have you? One of the new games that I'm most excited for is Rift of the Necrodancer, a true rhythm game from the creators of the awesome roguelike which I love, where there are rhythm battles and even Rhythm Heaven style mini games looking absolutely awesome, and watch this video for rhythm games that you can play right now. 